it's Georgia here, just popping on quickly. I'm going to share with you a little bit why, a bit, a little bit why, a little bit about why I have decided to do a hello. Hi. So I'm just going to speak a little bit about why I have chosen to do a a day retreat at a stone circle, a little bit of backstory of, of why I believe that that would be really beneficial. Hey, and then probably bring through a transmission. Um, yeah, at the end. So if you're ready, you want to just take a breath with me, just connect into your heart. Just connect into the space. I don't just connect into the space, into your heart. Feeling the infinite flow of your breath, this pure loving source frequency that is moving, it's our life force that moves through us. So just connecting here. You can even tap this space just to feel any dissonance that's held within this space, just releasing and opening up, ready to receive any wisdom codes and information that likes to come through today. So I bring through this day retreat um, as very close to me there is a stone circle and I've been connecting with this energy of this place for quite some time now. Um, it's quite interesting because it's depicted and has like a, a board on it as well with information that it's meant to be for like a, it's an old burial ground. And then even if you look at the structure that they said it used to look like, it doesn't even look like that, right? So it doesn't even look like the, um, how they're trying to say it used to look. It wouldn't be possible that that a level of uh, soil would be there with the, with the entrance stone being there and then all the stones where they are now you know how would that all drop down but the stones stay up it just doesn't make sense anyway when you connect into the energy and you feel the energy and the resonance and even all of the trees around you know they're whole completely holding space for this energy this circle of stones it's very specifically a circle with this uh, block entrance Way. So it's almost like you would step in there and you'd probably enter into other worlds. It's like a, it's almost like a um, stargate or a, a space where you would step into another dimension. And when you go there, you feel that as well. You really feel that resonance. Um, and then what has brought me to this idea of creating this day retreat is to bring loads together Hey, to feel the energy of these stones and then we can reactivate that remembrance within ourselves. So often the people who are going to be around here um, in this area or even in England, you know, you've come to this place to remember and activate the um, energy that's within these spaces and the codes that are held within certain places. So where we are, sometimes we're there for a specific reason. So we're going to activate that as well and communicate with the actual stones themselves. So when we can place our hands on their, on their energy, we can, um, or on their energy, but we're connecting into the energy as we're placing our hands on them, listening in, feeling the telepathic communication, really observing that and how that feels to communicate on that level. Because sometimes I think we're so used to hearing these two-way communications between us, we forget how it feels to really hear and experience through the senses of what that feels like through experiencing that telepathic communication through life. And um, if you think about psychometry, if anyone has ever tried that or experienced that, if you was to practice that, they get you to pick up, you know, an adamant object. So, you know, you could even pick up a pen. I, and the pen, if it's been somewhere else, with someone else, you can pick up that energy and receive information on where has where that come from? Um, who was this person? Maybe even picking up something within their future and what that means for them in the future. So if we are able to do that, 
what is going on with all of these stones? It ha it holds all of the information and wisdom and knowledge from those times, like the truth, right? So when we really tap into it from an energetic le level, we feel the truth that comes to our hearts, comes through us, our own wisdom, our own teachings from them, as opposed to reading the board that tells you that it was something that it's not technically, you know? Some of these things are actually distortions to divert us from remembering the spiritual connection that we actually have with the land, that we have with Gaia, and other al alternative realities, dimensions, and so forth. All of those things are sometimes suppressed through, you know, making us believe that stones are stones, trees are trees, <laughs> you know, animals are animals, they're, they're not sentient beings, but yet they are, and we, and we all are, and we're all a part of nature together. Um, so that's really what the beginning of this day retreat is going to be about. It's going to be initiation into that, coming into the circle and connecting into that remembrance, and not just what the stones have to say, but it's the trees and the birds and then the unseen that we don't see there as well. I just want to speak and, and share so that we can evolve as well because the more we evolve, it lifts everything up as well. It lifts all of the history up because it's not just history, is it? It's, it's other timelines that are existing and we work through them to heal, heal that times where potentially it's been distorted, it's been played out as something that it's not. And that's why we're going back into ourselves to remember through within and that's how we truly evolve and we expand and we move through that ascension process. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring through a transmission now if you're ready. So yeah, just come into your heart space. I'm gonna bring the chimes through. Um, so we're gonna just feel into the crystalline energy that is being alchemized now within the earth grid so that we're really connecting into that really purity of Gaia, purity of our own hearts and our own truth and our own wisdom that comes from within. Okay. Just gonna take a little bit of Outside and you have a tree around you, or some rocks and sky, and just seeing a bird flying by. I've got lots of lovely plants in this room. So just feeling the gratitude and appreciation for them. Sinking now into your feet. Oh, 
Ana ma atai ko ma ana maya ma shama hai o ma. You should start to feel some joy just opening up in your heart, moving through your entire body. So thank you for joining me today and whenever you listen on the replay. Much love to you all and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>